Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how I make my buffalo chicken salad that I have most days for lunch. So let's get started. So to begin with, we have this huge container. And in it we've got 255 grams of baby spinach. Next comes the chicken. So here's the chicken. Usually what I do is I'll buy a huge... Uh, uh, a huge uh, bulk pack from Safeway and I'll marinate it in this buffalo style wing sauce. If we look on the back here, one of the macros on it are quite good. So no fat, only one carb, no protein. Now granted I use about a half a bottle for the whole big package of chicken um, along with some other chicken seasoning uh, but you know let's say that there's even 10 carbs in there, it's not a big deal. I don't even really account for it because it goes over uh, all six or seven breasts that are in the package. So I cook it in bulk in the oven, uh, usually on the weekend, and then I will store it in Ziploc bags so that I can portion it out for my salads or whatever else I might use it for. Uh, in the salad here, I'm going to go ahead and chop up uh, what am I doing? Eight ounces. So, I usually just use kitchen shears and I'll just pull it out of the bag, chop it up with the kitchen shears right into the container, and that's about it. So, let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you where we're at when I'm done there. So, here we are, got the chicken all cut up now, put in there. Uh, just to mention, uh, I said 8 ounces, so the 8 ounces is the raw weight. I always actually weigh everything in grams. I never weigh anything in ounces. So raw weight would have been 8 ounces. After it cooks, it cooks down less. I always go basically 85 grams of chicken cooked for a serving. It just makes it easier for me to weigh things cooked. So not everything I do that way, but typically the chicken I do. Um, Next, we put in one serving of black beans, which is 130 grams. Currently, I'm using the low-sodium black beans, Safeway brand. Why? Well, they were on sale. So let me go ahead and add those in, and then we'll get to the next step. So I buy, again, Safeway brand salsa. Why? Because it was cheapest. Um, I have the Southwest Salsa Medium. I'm going to put in four servings, so that's eight tablespoons, macros on this, two carbs per serving, so very good. I'll go ahead and add that and we'll take a look. Alright, salsa is added, 120 grams, four servings, looking good. So now what I typically do is I'm going to go ahead and cover this guy up with the lid and refrigerate it until tomorrow when I need it. When I wake up, I am going to add the dressing. I'm using light Hidden Valley Ranch right now, along with Frank's uh, Frank's Buffalo Sauce. So tomorrow when I wake up and I get ready to eat this, I will show you the next couple of steps of how I prepare this. Uh, I put... Okay guys, so here's my salad. I just added the light ranch dressing. And for me, I use 45 grams, which is one and a half servings. But again, all these numbers can be adjusted based on what your macros are. Um, again, you could use full fat dressing, light, non-fat, you know, however you, um, you know, depending upon what your macros is, feel free and adjust. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some of this Frank's Red Hot Wing Buffalo Sauce. Delicious. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add two servings of that and I will be right back to show you what that looks like. Alright, now we've added the buffalo sauce to the salad. I'm going to add the Salad Supreme Salad Toppers. So I like this. I add, you know, a pretty, a pretty good amount of this onto the salad, um, as well as a little bit of salt and pepper, and a touch of red wine vinegar. So let me add that, and I'll show you what it looks like before I mix it in. Okay guys, seasoning has been added along with the vinegar, so we're basically all ready to go. 
So what I do now is I usually put the top on and on a normal work day I would be headed off to work and I would grab my salad and take it along with me as is and then I usually shake it before I eat it to mix it all up. Um, I'll show you what it looks like after I give it a good shake and show you the final product. See you in a bit. Okay guys, finally time for lunch and here's what the final product looks like. I went ahead and put the lid on and shook it around a little bit uh, just to save you any possible issues. Make sure you don't shake up and down very hard. I had the lid pop off on me and I got stuff all over me at one point. So shake cir circularly side to side so that you don't create a big mess. But that's part of the reason why I use such a big Tupperware is to help mix the dressing. Anyway, this is the final product. It's delicious and I have it on a regular basis so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.